for daily ask credit teachers what was the worst thing a substitute teacher did while you were gone i'm a little late to the party but here it goes i had a grade one half class last year and one student had diabetes let's call him adam so adam had a cell phone that beeps when his blood sugar is too low slash high it's connected to the monitor in his arm slash hip the cell phone has no other uses, no apps, no data, not connected to the school wifi. The substitute saw his phone on his desk and promptly took it away as per the no devices rule. During gym class an EA comes in to make sure everything is okay and Adam is visibly ill. Pale slash sweating the whole works. Luckily the CA knows Adam's medical plan, instantly asks the Adam for the phone, and he explains that the substitute took it away in the morning. The EA then loses it on the substitute demanding the phone. The substitute calls in the principal to reprimand the EA, then get reprimanded herself as obviously she did not read the student's safety plans. She was asked to leave, and the principal taught the class the rest of the day. Adam was fine, drank a couple juice boxes, and had a granola bar. Mom picked him up shortly after. <laughs> Student here. TLDR. Sub demanded I turn over my heart monitor in front of the class. Junior year I was having major heart problems and had to wear a heart monitor 15 hours a day. It had a phone attached that when I heard heart murmurs, it would send the data to my doctor. I was wearing it and started having heart issues. It buzzed and I went to click send when the sub demanded I turn over my cell phone. I started to explain why I couldn't and she snapped at me, so I lifted my shirt to show the wires and sensors strapped to my chest in front of the class of 50 students. Choir class. I've never seen any own's face drop that fast in my life. I've had so many bad subs. One sub made an elementary student cry insisting her own name was misspelled and made her stand up in front of the class and admit her name was spelled wrong. I asked that she not return, but I still saw her around as other teachers had her sub. Another one worth mentioning was supposed to be my sub for the last two weeks of school because I went on maternity leave, this time teaching at a 7th 12th grade school, ignored all my sub plans. Played on his cell phone the whole time, and then like 3 days, Ing got upset at the students, and told them off. And then they watched as he walked out to the parking lot and drove away. Thank goodness some kids went, and told the office. When I came back it was like my room had been ransacked. It was awful. <laughs> Rearranged my room. Not in a move student A away from student B, and put her by student C way. In a move the giant rug over to the opposite corner of the room and completely changed the layout of student desks and rearrange a bookshelf way. Went to sleep for 1.5 hours. My class was freaking amazing the sweetest, most thoughtful group I've ever had. When I got back the next day, I asked how the sub was. Me, how was the sub? Them, ah, uh, he was fine. He kinda took a nap for a while. Me, what? What did you guys do? Them, worked quietly so that we wouldn't wake him up. Eventually we ran out of work, so we just had silent reading. Me, for how long? Them, from when we started working, until it was time to go outside. Me, that's a really long time. Look, I'm glad that you guys were so thoughtful, but if something like that ever happens again, please wake the sub up. It's not safe for the sub to sleep. He needed to be awake in case something happened. Them, we would have woken him up if we really needed to. But we also figured he probably really needed the sleep. Seriously. The sweetest class ever. I had a cool Chinese lucky cat that went missing after I had a sub. My students said the sub seemed really intrigued by it, talked about it several times, and even moved it from the shelf where it sat and brought it over to my desk. It was gone when I returned the next day. Not a teacher, but I vividly remember one incident of having a substitute in kindergarten. I had an infected cut on my toe and had been prescribed an antibiotic. That morning was the first time I took it. We were sitting on the floor for old call and I remember this burning pain in my abdomen and she told us to get up and go to out desks. I tried to get up only to realize I couldn't move 
and just laid back. This sub was a total cow and I remember she was always really mean. Anyway she starts yelling at me for being attention seeking and basically tries to pull me up I'm in so much pain I start screaming. And one of the teachers from the classroom next to us comes, realizes him not faking it, and calls an ambulance. Long story short I'm horribly allergic to penicillin and my kidneys were failing. I was in hospital for almost a week before I got discharged. Needless to say that absolute bitch was not allowed back at the school, but I will never forget that day. There was a harpsichord in the front of the classroom used both for demonstration and performance. Not knowing what he was doing, the sub tried to tune three notes that had gone mildly out of tune while I was away. He managed to break the strings on all three notes and left a message inside reading, sorry about that.